Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. Go ahead and pick your card. It's numbers 1 to 5 and 6 to 10. Okay, card number 1. Six of Wands. This is a card of victory and of triumph. This is a yes. This means that whatever kind of external conflict or internal egoic kind of battles <laughs> that you've been going through are about to resolve and you're going to get a break. You're going to feel like, ah, uh, like it's like making it to Friday night when, you know, you've been through Monday morning and, you know, you've made it all the way through Wednesday and then the whole week is a struggle and then finally you get to Friday and it's just now you can relax, you can enjoy a little bit of a respite and everything is just going to be going your way for a little bit. The Six of Wands energy isn't forever. It's not like a big permanent energy, but it is like taking the weekend off and celebrating what you have accomplished so far. So definitely take a minute to pat yourself on the back and know that, you know, You've done really well to get as far as you have, and don't worry about the next stage. That's going to handle itself. For now, just enjoy the progress that the progress that you have made, and give yourself the credit that you deserve. And card number two. Nine of Cups. This is one of the best cards to get for a yes or no. This is the wish come true card. It is definitely a yes. The only trick with this card is that you're basically going to get what you want the way your higher self wants you to have it. So, you know, just for example, if you're trying to go on a vacation and you have this one very particular island in the South Pacific in mind and you're really trying to get there and you think that's where you need to go and that's going to be perfect. Well, this is saying, yes, you are going to have, you know, the vacation that your soul most requires, that your soul most desires, but it's not necessarily going to be that one specific vision that you have created for yourself. So you might end up going on a completely different kind of vacation. And at first you might feel disappointed. You may go, oh, you know, the Nine of Cups lied to me. It told me I was going to get what I wanted. It told me my wish was going to come true. But, you know, look, it didn't. It didn't. Everything is going wrong. But, you know, wait, just wait it out and see how this kind of unexpected turn of events actually works out to be better than you could possibly have imagined. Because this is your, yeah, the best way I can describe it is your higher self is going to get going to give you what is truly for your best interest. It's not necessarily going to satisfy your your ego, right? So just know that with this card, not everything's going to be as it seems, but at a soul level, you're going to be receiving what you truly desire and your wishes will be coming true. Just not necessarily the way you think they're going to. Card number three. <laughs> Justice. Again, I don't know what is up with this card, guys. Every single time I've done a yes or no video for the last two or three months, I've been getting the Justice card. And all I can say about this one, guys, is that the scales are balancing. Everything is going to be coming into balance. And as you might have heard me say before, you know, that entirely depends on where you're at. If you have been used and abused and taken advantage of or just things just haven't been going your way and you have been really in your integrity and doing everything authentically and doing everything that you know you need to be doing, you know, being really in tune, being really aligned with your higher self, then this is going to be working out great for you. This is everything finally straightening out, everything finally coming to click for you, everything finally snapping into place because the scales are balancing and you're no longer going to be in that, you know, wobble position, you know, but I think that's how it will work out for almost all of you. But, you know, if you ask this question because something is kind of nagging at you because you feel like maybe you haven't been 
you know, quite aligned or you haven't been quite authentic about something or you're hiding something or and you're feeling guilty about something or you just, there's just that thing nagging your, if your conscience is nagging you about something, this is saying that that is about to be exposed and coming to light. And that doesn't necessarily have to be a big deal. Like I always say, it could have been, this could be somebody who stole the last slice of pizza and has been like covering it up, right? And then that could just mean that, you know, you're going to get found out that you stole the last slice of pizza. And obviously for that, that's not a big deal, but it just means, you know, that's coming to light. If this is something bigger for you, well, just know that if you want to navigate this problem, this predicament you find yourself in as smoothly as possible, then make the first move. Don't wait until, you know, the cops come knocking on your door, metaphorically speaking, hopefully not literally speaking. You know, you want to be addressing this first, you know, coming clean first, and that is going to work out better for you because that will help you <laughs> ride up the waves of justice more smoothly. Card number four. Oh man, it's the sun. This is a fantastic. When I see the sun card, there's always, it's almost like a miracle comes through after this. You're like, you could be thinking, nothing's ever going to change. I'm stuck in this rut forever. You know, how am I going to solve this problem? Whatever. And then bam, like a ray of sunshine, like the clouds part and a ray of sunshine comes beaming down upon you. And good news can come so unexpectedly out of nowhere. And I'm really getting shivers and I'm saying this. And I'm only saying this because I have personally experienced this. I get the, I'll pull the sun card in the morning and then literally just bam, out of nowhere, fantastic news that really can be life changing or just really solve some kind of problem. And that problem can just dissolve and go away like it never had been. So this is a yes. This is wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see the sun card. It's one of the best omens to get if you're trying to navigate some kind of problem. So yeah, just expect the unexpected, guys, in the best possible way. This is a yes. Card number five. Earth Mother. This would be the Empress. This is definitely a yes. I'm getting a very spiritual vibe from this card. I mean, we see this feminine figure here you know, growing a tree. She has a tree, like tree branches coming up out of, out of her neck where her head would be. She doesn't have a head. And I'm really reminded of experiences you can have in meditation where you suddenly realize that you don't have a head or you have the sensation of not having a head. It is freeing yourself from this experience we have of being trapped in our bodies. So if you're, if you came to this question, um, if you asked any kind of spiritual question or anything just about your personal growth, this is a really, really good sign that you're going to have a shift in consciousness. And, you know, if you had a spiritual question, then that's kind of obviously applicable, applicable. But even if you're asking about maybe you're trying to lose weight or you're just trying to get in shape or you're trying to shift some kind of habit or addiction or even like shift the way you deal with your relationships, this is really good because this is your consciousness shifting and all of those problems that you tried to solve before, you know, you tried to lose weight, you tried to go jogging every day, whatever it is, if they never worked before, don't worry about that because this is when it really can work because this is the time that you shift your consciousness. And once your consciousness shifts, once your viewpoint shifts, once your thought processes shift, that is when these things will finally work. So you can let go of, of the trauma of thinking, oh, it never worked before. Why would I think it's going to work this time? I should just give up because it never worked 99 other times, you know, but this time, this 100th time, this is the time it is different because the change is coming from within first. The change is coming from the level of your consciousness. So this is when it can work. <laughs> you just need to hold, hold on to that, that frequency. You don't need to cling to it or anything, but if you feel yourself, you feel, you'll know the shift in your consciousness. If you feel that, wow, suddenly I can really let go of my need to snack on cake in the middle of the night. Well, you know, but then one day you might feel that, that urge to eat a piece of cake coming back. It's, it, that's fine. You just let that go and tune your attention back into how it felt to feel like it didn't need to eat the piece of cake right? You can do that. You can go back and it's okay to wobble. It's okay to waver. It's okay to eat the piece of cake. And then the next day you just come, you tune your attention right back to this new way, to this new shift you've made in your consciousness. So this is really cool. This is awesome. This is a yes. Card number six. 
Love to see it. Card number six. Nine of Swords. This is a no. You guys are going to be going through a period of shadow work. That has been a major theme I've been seeing coming up around the time I've been I'm filming this. And it's okay. Just know that this isn't going to last forever. And in fact, the more you can face whatever you're afraid of, the quicker you can shift out of this. You know, it could last a split second, this fear and anxiety and paranoia energy, you know, if you truly resolve that fear, if you face that fear and resolve it, and that, then you can move on from it, right? But if you keep um, running away from it, then that's just going to drag this on forever. It's exactly like when you're a kid and you're afraid of what's in your closet, right? You can hide in underneath your covers all night, maybe for years, you hid under your covers going, oh, I'm afraid of what's in my closet. I'm afraid of, you know, what goes bump in the night. I'm afraid of that noise I just heard. I'm afraid of that weird thing I see, think I see in the closet, you know, and you can drag that on literally for years and years and years. But if you simply get up, turn on the light and look, well, now your fear goes away because you know that there was nothing, nothing actually there. So it's just like that. Whatever you're afraid of, face it, work through that shadow, and then <laughs> and then you can move on and then you won't be in the Nine of Swords anymore. So, I mean, this is a no, but the bigger message here, guys, is to work through your shadow as smoothly as you can. Card number seven. movement of pentacles this would be the knight of pentacles <sighs> this one is kind of weird for a yes or no it basically means it's up to you and it's not that big of a deal so the knight of pentacles for me comes up when i'm trying to figure out like oh you know should i go on a really long hike or should i stay home and clean the house or should i do some kind of project and this this comes through to say you can do that if you choose and that's fine. You can also choose not to do it and that's fine too. And whatever way you do, you know, you might feel kind of slow, a little bit sluggish about doing it. You know, if you go on that hike or if you work on that project, you know, you might feel just kind of tired and just kind of not feeling into it. But, you know, it also might pick up and you might get into it just fine. And that's that's fine that's all well and good but you can also just stay home and not do anything or do something else entirely and that's also <laughs> fine so yeah the knight of pentacles in this case this movement of pentacle pentacles this buffalo it just whatever you're asking about doing or just asking about in general isn't that big of a deal you can choose to do it or not to do it and the general message here is just that you might feel that this is way more significant than it is. This isn't actually that significant. Do it or don't do it. It's really up to you. And the universe here wants you to feel into why you feel so pressured to do something. Is it like, are you putting artificial expectations on yourself to get something done for no real reason? Just kind of release all of those expectations just kind of sit for a minute and feel into what you most truly want to do there's an invitation here to feel into your next move and follow your intuition on it don't follow any uh constructed expectations including expectations you're putting on yourself so this one is more of just it's up to you <laughs> it's up to you uh it's a maybe basically yeah, I'm sorry I can't give you a clear answer on that, but the Knight of Pentacles comes up and it for yes or no's and it's always a little a little bit there's wiggle room here. There's wiggle room. So that's all I have to say for this one. Card number eight. Six of Swords. This card is all about change and movement and transitions. So you need to figure out how you ask your question and pay attention to the, the essence of what you're asking. If you are asking, should I move on? Should I make a change? Should I do something new? 
this is a yes. If you're asking, should I stay? Should I do things the same way? Should I hunker down and play it safe? This is a no. The Six of Swords is all about, you know, being this turtle going off into the rainbow. There's better things awaiting you. You need to move on, make a change, make a shift. And this can also just include making a shift in the way you think or a shift in your consciousness. It is just all about leaving something behind and going somewhere new. And that's basically that. So you'll have to, to figure out how you asked your question and feel into this one. But know that this is all about transition and change. Card number nine. Ten of Pentacles. This is awesome. We all know what this one means. This is yes. This is yes, yes, yes. This is everything working out in your favor. Um, particularly if you're worrying about money or job or your material environment, you can stop worrying because this is money showing up in your bank account unexpectedly. This is somebody showing up to just give you a break. This is finally everything working out. Um, you know, this is, if you're having plumbing problems, this is the pl plumbing problems being solved. This is your physical environment just coming into harmony and coming into completion and finally everything figuring it out. And I know a lot of you are asking about money. The Ten of Pentacles, you don't need to worry about money. Um, you know, this, what I would say within the next few weeks that, you know, you're going to have the money that you need. You're going to have enough. Everything is going to be good. The Ten of Pentacles is abundance. This is abundance and it's on its way. It might not be, you know, within the next five minutes, but it's going to be soon. And whenever it comes, it will absolutely be soon enough. So <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is abundance. It is wonderful. It is a yes. Card number 10. movement of cups. This would be the knight of cups. This is an interesting one for a yes or no. What I will say is if you're asking about love or any kind of interpersonal relationships um, or anything spiritual, this is a yes because this is an offer of love and this is love moving around and being transmitted from one being to another, right? But what I have noticed with the knight of cups, when it comes up and you're asking about money or trying to accomplish something tangible or about whether you should do something or if someone's going to do something for you um, and we're not really talking about just emotions and about love this can actually mean that your perception is clouded that you have your head in the clouds or that you're not using your rational mind that in this particular situation you're being too emotional about something so <laughs> it's a little tricky. I know you guys want clear yes or no answers, but this is really, really depends on the type of question. So if you asked about romance, a friendship, or just spirituality or love in general, this is a yes. This is a really good sign. If you asked about money or a job or about you just your physical situation, this means that you need to get a little more rational about that, that you might be having... Um, too many of your emotions getting in the way that you have a clouded vision that your head's in in the clouds and that you're just not seeing something clearly. So yeah, I guess there's two different answers for this one. <laughs> and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.